summer again in my pot garden. I'm going to start this video with a quick show of my coal jets. I sold these back in around about May when I sold the seeds, shot away. So it was um, end of May, beginning of June that I actually potted them out into one of my pots with my usual mixture, general purpose, handful of chicken pellets, handful of volcanic rock, and I put two plants in this pot. It's a large pot and they've just took over. Uh, they've done really well. Uh, so I'll quickly show you the courgettes. So I'll just squeeze in because this it's um, can't really see the pot. It's in there amongst all this. Um, just so you know what it is. Um, looking at it's meant for the girls cause it's black beauties as i say i sowed this back in may early may and planted them out about three four weeks later and they've just took off and so back in here um so to hide away as best if I go from above right okay so there's the main stem there and it's slowly making its way up along this way the actual stem itself is only about that long but it's produced all these leaves and fruits from it so as you can see there's a nice fruit there growing a bit closer for the there you go so not really good it's lost its flower um as you can see there's loads more male and female flowers to come later on but there's a so that one's just went to bulk up a bit and that one is on its way generally uh, when the flowers gone like that one has there it's just rotting away rather than leave it on and let it rot I just take it off and that way the fruits don't rot um, so that's that uh, just yeah. so that's one plant and the other one is this one here uh, again ah, it's hard to see this there you go so there's the main stem travels between my two fingers there are oh, these flowers come off uh, as I say, that is a meal, it's just the stem of flower, and that's a female with flower there, and it's got a stem back there, but this bit here, it's thicker and that's the ovary and that's your courgette or will be 
and to show you how well they're doing we're going to come down to this level so some I've not had much luck with as I say if you why I take the flowers off is because this sort of thing happens that the ends rot um, that the bit at the bottom there looks okay I mean this might be all right but it's rotten a bit so that's a bit of one but that's filling out nicely and then you got this beauty which is absolutely massive there you go he's right there so I'm gonna to have to take him off uh, and maybe give him away because I've already got one just from yesterday so this is what it says on the packet it is absolutely prolific produced because it's got that one that one with that one there and then here you got loads more that there on the way so that's me black beauty courgette the melon that I sowed that's the one I've put in here and it really hasn't done much it's uh, that's totally died off but hasn't really grown much so it's not happy about that I had another one there and that one did I think it just rotted uh, we've had a bit of rain lately and I think it caused it to just rot so if it wasn't for these courgettes they might have been all right but uh, it's not good really I'll have to rethink that method another time uh, the I did sow four seeds and I decided to um, with the other two that I had in the house I uh, I decided to grow the other two inside um, and when I saw that it wasn't doing very well the ones that I potted, potted out I, let, I decided to put these in individual pots and uh, that's one and that's the other and these look much healthier this one's had a little nibble of that one but I think that was not recent that's from a little while back but you can see it's producing new leaves so the happier in these pots but of course they're getting more sun so next year I think what I'll do is uh, well instead of the courgettes or as well but in separate pots I'll, I'll do these melons again so they're my organ melons doing a bit better so it's getting a bit late on in the season I might be too late to get really anything off these but I'll give it a go uh, see what happens if not I'll try them again next year a bit sooner but that's what it's all about trying if it doesn't work one year try it again and sometimes the next year you get totally different either success or failure but you just got to keep on going and, uh, right so the question is and I haven't found for me an adequate answer yet on the on the internet is that how do you know when Brussels sprouts are ready because these are coming along great guns and I mean that one where are we there you go that one is about a knuckle so that's about uh, two inch and a half long inch and a half to two inches long sturdy fails quite a solid uh, thing there so is is that ready um, 
or should I or should I leave it a bit longer because uh, I don't want them to go woody or what have you so I'm t I'm t if anyone knows how you can tell when a Brussels sprout's ready then please let me know I'd be very grateful but this thing is doing really well and it's, uh, some oops, there's some smaller on this one but nonetheless they're there and same for that one plenty on there small but you know I want some of these for Christmas so I'll probably time them just right but this plant it's romping away and it, to me there's some that look as though they're almost ready to pick so if anyone let me know please drop me a line mate, leave a comment be very much appreciated clip please subscribe leave comments ask questions whatever but hope to hear from you till the next time see ya